awesome sauce. Scene one, Apple, take one. What's up, everybody? How's it going out there? So I have committed the cardinal sin of washing whites with a red shirt. And I ended up getting a whole bunch of pink stuff. Okay? And this is my hot rod t-shirt. Now this is supposed to be bright white. And now this is all pink and everything. It's, it's horrible, you know? So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up uh, trying to use... Um, writ color remover in this and essentially you end up doing this you end up getting some water um, you get a large pot and you put some water in it and then you go ahead and uh, put a package of this because there's one package you let it dissolve you get it really hot but you don't get it boiling and then we're going to throw our clothes inside there and agitate it um, we can go ahead and test this um, let me see if because this is my other hot rod t-shirt and I don't know if you'll be able to tell a difference between how this one kind of looks dingy compared to this guy right here. Um, but this has got some dye or something on it too that's been sprayed. Um, so we're going to end up seeing we're going to end up seeing if this stuff ends up working. I'm just going to end up throwing all these whites in there. I have to tell you guys, I'm really impressed with this. It's only been maybe two minutes, and this stuff was all pink when I first threw it in. This right here is very pink. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of push this down. Um, even though it says you should agitate, um, I haven't really had to do a whole lot of that. But hopefully you can see how pink that is. And what I'm going to do is after I know that I've got this kind of down in the liquid, I'm just going to wait for a couple minutes, and I'm not going to move it. So you can just see how um, this ends up whitening uh these, these socks, I mean, it's really impressive. Everything's turning really white. Um, I didn't think it was going to work like this well, but it is. So this right here, guys, it's only been about a minute, maybe a minute and a half since I turned the camera off. Um, let's give it about another minute or so. There's already a huge difference, and I haven't even agitated it or anything. So let's give it about another minute, minute and a half, and let's see what it looks like. So it's been about another minute, guys. And um, you should be able to see a significant difference uh, with the dye there. So, I mean, this absolutely, this stuff works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start scooping this stuff out and then uh, putting in the rest of the whites that are pink, trying to reuse what I have here. I might have to reheat it. Um, but then all of this stuff is immediately going to end up going into the washer. And I'm going to wash it uh, regularly. But I don't want to add any bleach to this. You don't want to mix any bleach to this. Okay, guys? So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the second batch and then um, maybe leave it in for five minutes. And then we can go ahead and uh, throw this into the uh, washer. One thing that I have learned is uh, it will turn red into yellow and orange. I mean, this... Um, only use on whites don't use on anything else so I just learned my lesson on my hot rod t-shirts I kind of ruined um, it's still cool but it just looks irregular it looks like I got it at the goddamn swap meet now <laughs> I got another one um, I'm but I'm not gonna end up throwing it inside this uh, just because I don't want to ruin it okay so everything has been uh, washed and um, in some ways I'm very happy with the results um, and other ways it's kind of my own fault but you know I learned from it so it is what it is essentially this is a really good product okay um, it really does take dingy clothes or ones that have like dye in it and it, it does turn them white but if you have but if you have like an iron-on type of image it uh, dyes it the only thing that's left here is a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow okay it gets rid of it um, this also used to be like gray and black and it had removed some of the dye from that as well and now it's kind of like these weird dirt colors in my shorts and that's okay too I don't really care the hot rod t-shirt had become very white it didn't damage the um, uh, silk screening at all but that red became um, like a khaki and that sucks because now yeah now this looks like I got it at the swap meet and shit it's not doesn't look like it's legit but the as far as the white goes it's it's really white um, and it even actually took a little bit of the 
the armpit stuff that happens that guys get. Um, it even took a little bit of that out. But the most important thing are these socks. Um, the you know, I wear shorts a lot. I can't go around wearing socks that are pink. But look how white that 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 became. I mean, that's this is just really really clean. It took every last bit of dye out of there. I think with old socks like this, it does a pretty good job of whitening them. Um, better than any bleach, anyway. Um, this isn't still 100% white like it used to be. This is about the same age as that one. For whatever reason, this one um, was better than this one. Um, but ultimately, man, th this is actually a really good product. I'm not seeing any pink inside here anymore. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm seeing a little pink in this one. It's very little, but it's there. This might have been in the second batch um, after the initial thing really wasn't maybe strong enough and it didn't set in there long enough. It could be from that. Um, but there's not much there. So the color remover absolutely works for the whole pink shirts and everything like that. Pink socks, pink underwear. The only thing that I, the only thing that I would suggest is only use it on whites. Don't use it on anything else. Don't take the risk, okay? So that's, this is definitely pretty good. Um, in the future, I'll be doing the whitewash test to see how well that works. And then I'll also end up doing the color run remover too to see how that works. And I got this too because I felt that uh, my whites needed to be whiter, right? And um, got this too. And this is supposed to work better than uh, bleach too. So we're going to find out. It says it's safe on colors. Maybe I should have tried that on my hot rod t-shirt. I've got another hot rod t-shirt um, that uh, I can use that OxyClean on. And we can test it on that and see if it is any good. Well, anyway, guys, that's that. It's, it's a really good product. It cost me about $1.77, I think, at Walmart. Um, and you can get easily one load of um, clothes completely white with it, as long as you have a big enough pot. Anyway, guys, that's that. Until next time, talk to you later.